I'm Robin Lennox. Uh, my background is not in music, actually. It's uh, in dolphins. You know, training them, rehabilitating them after they've been shot, things of that nature. Uh, but at one point, um, I, I decided it was too hard. So I wanted something easy, some, something I could make a lot of money overnight, no talent, no effort at all. And Mercutio actually asked me, and I'll never forget this, he said, have you heard of music? No, I hadn't. But I would quite well, I would say. I've been in the music industry for about 10 years. And at this point, I have a professor-type knowledge of music. So you can pretty much name a musician, and I'll have heard of him. Like, name, name a musician. Um, how about Weird Al? What was that? Weird Al? I believe he was a gardener. So the first kind of music was jazz, right? Or was it that violin shit? Actually, the first type of music was made with twigs, and they had a, I think it's called a lute. Um, people would make a twig lute and go, Ooh. Basically, the dinosaurs died off and music sucked for a thousand years. And that's not to say that the dinosaurs were good musicians. Although I'm sure they, they were. We just don't know because of Obama. Those asteroids really took out the dinosaurs hard. Uh, they, were, uh, they were good people. You know, the T-Rexes especially, those, those were kind of like the CEOs of the day. Basically, the first kind of music that mattered, I'll put it that way, the first kind of music that mattered was jazz. And I mean, nobody's listening to it anymore. I think you could probably still use it for an alarm clock. No. No, not even that, no. Jazz is often called the blues because that's the color that people hear when they listen to it. And blues, it sounds like, oh, you know. And then Elvis invented the guitar. And say what you will about Elvis, um, gluttonous pedophile, he did invent the guitar. And you can't take that away from him. Elvis died on a toilet. You know, that's like kind of all you really need to know about him. Of course, he didn't know what to do with it. Nobody did. He was making shit. Cross Walks Lit is more Elvis than Elvis ever was. Elvis was just kind of like a poser, and he got... There was no internet back then. There was no books. There was no writing. Like, the wheel didn't get back back then. That's why they call it rock and roll. Because it's just... Anytime you were in a wagon, you just hit it... You hit a... A stone. You go, ooh, ooh, ooh. And that was, that's kind of how Elvis died. But eventually, um, uh, Ozzy Osbourne came along and he invented metal. And that's basically where we are today. Now, people will say there's other types of music, there's other genres. Not really. Not from what I've seen. I mean, look at Mercutio Steel. He's released 259 albums this year and it's only March. Somebody's buying these albums. Cartels, somebody's buying them. Cartels are pretty much our favorite uh, audience out there. Prison music really is his new genre, and it's very, very lucrative. Prison music is actually the fundamental of the whole music industry we see today. A lot of people are buying prison music. A lot of people are in prison and uh, he sells his albums there. That's where the vending machines are. My father has never been out of jail in his entire life. I mean, he was born there. Elvis may have invented jail prison music as well. Elvis sort of just, you know, stumbled into it by accident because everything he did was basically a mistake. Robin, his favorite plant is cocaine because it teaches him that keep going, keep going. Same thing in Walmart, same thing in Wall Street. Everything with a wall, you know, Walpole, that's where we were originally from. We do a lot of cocaine in Walpole. Unfortunately, a lot of the dolphins I worked with, uh, the ones that didn't get shot, they actually ended up in jail. All right, I I'm just gonna be honest with you right now. I, I know I said, I left the dolphin industry for music, but the truth was there was a criminal 
investigation. Because a lot of the dolphins wound up dead. And a lot of fingers are pointed at me. Even though if anybody, anybody who knows me knows, I would never hurt somebody purposely. It's difficult to uh, DNA trace dolphin meat. I've been on an airplane since 1996. One of my major concerns when I was working with the dolphins was just how smart they were. Now, of course, I've always been more fearful of humans. But the dolphins, when I turned my back, I could swear they were looking and following me with their eyes around the room, watching where I put the keys, watching where I put the lighter. I'm sure they smoked some of my cigarettes, too. I'm sure of that. 